The whole fake news phenomenon seems to just not want to go away, and in fact, it's about to get a lot worse. Facebook has now said that it is going to regulate fake news. In other words, they're now going to have people doing peer reviews. By peer reviews, they mean third-party companies would be paid by Facebook to determine what's true and what's not true. And if something is determined to be fake news or fake news, it's simply going to be pushed to the back of the algorithm that shows up on your Facebook feed. They're going to take on fake news. Now, this is an experiment that's being done in Germany. They're having independent fact checkers that are going to go through things and determine what's true and what's not. A content shared by outlets deemed to be purveyors of false information will be pushed to the back of the Facebook algorithm queue. In other words, probably the first casualty we're going to see is any criticism of Israel. Facebook insists that the system will be done through a third-party fact auditors associated with Portner's International Fact-Checking Code of Principles. If the fact-finding organizations identify contributions as fraudulent, they are provided with a warning label that identifies them as untrustworthy. The warning contains a link to the corresponding articles as well as a justification for the decision. Messages classified as untrustworthy may also appear later in the newsfeed. Fake news, especially on Facebook, is already one of the major threats to our society. That is clear. We fear these threats will become even more massive in the coming months, whether it be in the NWR election or the election in the Bundestag next autumn. We are pleased with this progress, but we still know there is a lot to be done. We continue to work on this challenge and will introduce these innovations in other countries in the near future. We need to be careful not to discourage sharing of opinions or mistakenly restrict accurate content. We do not want to be the arbiters of truth ourselves, but instead rely on our community and trusted third parties. Actually, Facebook entirely intends on being the arbiters of truth. That's entirely what this program is about, determining what's true and what's not true. Like, for example, if anybody ever came up with a criticism of Facebook, like when you pay to advertise your post, people aren't really seeing it. I would suggest people uh, searching uh, that one to see how uh, Facebook actually scams you out of money. Or basically just anything that disagree with Mark Zuckerberg's position, like anybody who criticizes Israel for the genocide is carrying out. That's going to mysteriously disappear off of Facebook, or at least be buried so far deep you're not going to see it. And one of those casualties, I assume, is going to be me. Because, because of course, anything that criticizes capitalism is automatically wrong, and I would think that a billionaire would probably hold that same view. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's really appropriate that since Nazism was born out of Germany, this level of fascism is going to come out of Germany as well. And in fact, uh, German parliament has even threatened to fine Facebook for not removing fake news. So it shouldn't be a surprise that this program is being tested there as well. And this is, you know, this is another just attempt at censorship. Now, there are fake, there is fake news out there. But we shouldn't be so foolish as to think it's just going to be fake news that's going to be a casualty. It's going to be people that are actually trying to tell the truth that doesn't fit the narrative of the ruling class in the United States and many other nations as well. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.